Hey there, it's Kat and this is Bruising Reviews. So today I'm going to be doing the Do I Have That Other Book tag. It's a scavenger hunt-esque tag. And since I have now been tagged twice to do this video, I thought I'd actually better get around to it. So I was tagged by Kaz from Cats and Camera and Stephanie from Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. And the creators of this tag were Keeping Tabs and Current Chapter. I'll leave their links down below. Okay, sorry you're so far away, but it's the only way I could fit most of my bookshelves on. I, I don't know how much you can see of the bottom shelf, and I know you can't see the top shelf, but I'm, I'm gonna pretend the top shelf doesn't exist because I can't reach things that are on the top shelf right now, so um, we're just gonna pretend that it exists. So I'm gonna time myself while I do this, but I can't imagine how accurate that's gonna be. So let's get going. Do you have a book with a fox on the cover or part of the plot? The Foxhole Court. Question number two, do you have a book that was published the year the year you were born or within a three year radius? I don't know. I, uh, old. Think old. Where are the old books? <laughs> Nineteen ninety, we'll go with that. I'm ninety-two. Uh, do you have a book with music as a weapon or magic? Like, yeah, somewhere, but like, maybe? Hey. Oh, this is where it doesn't pay to not remember things that happened in books. <laughs> oh, yes, Dark Moon by David Gemmell. There is a guy with a loot and he, he has magic as well. I don't think he uses it to kill people. <sighs> okay, it doesn't count. There's a guy with the loot, though, that does kill people. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I, I'm going to go with the Wicked Deep because I'm pretty sure the witches use the song to go inside people. <laughs> Question number four. Do you have a series with mitch ma mismatched covers? Yeah, somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Just do this because it's easier. Next year I have a paperback and a hardback, so that just doesn't match. Um, <clears throat> Do you have a book with a shapeshifter? Um. Okay, well, new moon. New moon. Um. Do you have a book signed by the author? Nevernight, it is a signed copy. Uh, Do you have a book with mostly red cover? The Last by Hannah Jameson. Do you have a book between 287 and 306 pages? Like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. You look quite small. It's 295 Legend by Marie Lou. Do you have a book with a main character who wears glasses? Um. Um, yes, but I don't want to feature it in this video, so that that one that we all know that I'm thinking about. Um, <clears throat> do you have a book with the title that has the same number of letters as your first name? Nine. That's not nine. That's not nine. That's not nine. Nope. Nope. I hate myself. Hey, Possessed by Nikki Valentine. Uh, do you have a book with cybercrime or technology as a plot point? Warcross by Marie Lou. Uh, do you have a book written in another language or translated to English? The Unit by Nini Holmquist. Uh, do you have a book written by an Asian author? Try not to find an Asian American author. I mean, can we just, like, all of my manga up there that I can't reach? Because I'm too small! We'll pretend, okay? I got One Punch Man down. By one, and Yusuke Murata. Yeah. 
uh, do you have a book with the moon on the cover? The moon. Where are you? The moon. Moon, 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 moon. Moon? There's a moon. Body in the Ice by AJ McKenzie. Ah, uh, oh, it's on the floor now. Uh, do you have an illustrated children's book? Um, yes. Yeah, I might be able to reach this one. Because it's sticking out. Uh, a Cat's Little Instruction Book by Lee W. Rutledge. Uh, do you have a collection of fairy tales and myths? Yeah, um, Mar Cinder, Marissa Meyer. We're going to go with that. It's like a f no. Uh, does it count? It's, it's kind of a fairy tale thing. We'll get what? Well, hang on, wait. We'll go with winter because technically it's a collection because all of them meet in this one. So we'll go with that. That's getting very precarious now. Um, do you have a sci-fi fantasy with an alliance between races? <laughs> Do you count? Do you count? Do I remember it enough? Yeah. Kind of spoilers for The Magician by Raymond D. Feist. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have a book with a narrow front cover? Yes, I do. But where do I put it? I don't know because these shelves are so different now. Uh, Seven Husbands of Eve Evelyn Hugo. It has a short, short thing. Why do they do that? I don't know. It's odd. Uh, do you have a book that includes a first chapter of the sequel? Like every book, most where's, most places in all of the times. Uh, let's try your ball. Why was I looking at the front? That's not going to help. Oh, I picked up, like, the one that doesn't! I'm sure most books do, right? Like, I feel like... Uh, do... you? Aha! There's a section of Ink Exchange in Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marl. Uh, 20. Uh, do you have a book with a broken spine? Yeah, like, all of them. Okay, here's one. Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Bonus question, do you have a book that covers three or more of the above prompts? Like, probably? Like, but who's looking? I don't... Fuck your bonus question, I don't want it! Okay, fine, I'll look. Um... Listen, no, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm done. Let's, let's look at the time. Ten minutes, twelve seconds, uh, without the bonus question, and... <sighs> yeah. Standard. Okay, I'm gonna lift these up, and uh, they're not in the order in which I put them down, but they are in the order uh, in which logically made sense to stack them. So, uh, if you were curious about what I picked up, it was all of these. Look, yeah. Hooray! 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 Okay, I'm gonna put them down now because these ones around my boobage area are suspiciously pointing out and they're gonna go all over the place. So let me just see if I can put it down. This is fine. This is all fine. Oh, and there was that one other book, but we didn't talk about that, so. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!